In most societies, women are under immense pressure to look a certain way in order to conform to what is generally described as being beautiful. This has helped to turn the makeup business into a multi-billion dollar industry. However, in an effort to look beautiful, a lot of women go to great lengths employing what could best be described as extreme makeup to the extent that when seen without it, they almost appear as completely different people. What would men do, especially newlyweds, when they realize after the wedding, their wives look completely different without their makeup on? Let's get the opinions of our respondents on this. Well, um, I like to let, let you know the truth. The truth is that um, makeup is being abused in this part of the world. It's been abused. The purpose of makeup naturally is to beautify you. It's not to be abused. You know, if when you over when you overuse makeup, you are unconsciously living in an inferiority complex mentality. So if you marry a woman, there are so many factors that make a woman not to be the way she was when you got married to her. Of course, you don't expect a teenager to be the you mean a teenager even at the age at age 30. It's very very difficult. So if I marry a wife and my wife is no longer um, looking beautiful as she is, there are certain factors. One thing is that the stress in the home apply to all of those things you know she's no longer a single girl that sleeps and wake up when she likes she's not being timed by activities home activities she has to take up of her children she has to wake up take care of children go to school she to have to take care of herself take care of the husband all of these things are stress that come in so if you if you want to make your wife remain the way she used to be you need to pump in more money that's the reality that's where finance come in, in the house and you have to create an atmosphere of peace where the wife won't have any reason to quarrel or shout she will still be calm but generally Generally, makeup is good, but in the African cities, we're beginning to abuse it because many people now use their facial appearance to attract people outside, especially when it comes to opposite sex. And the end of the day, it's like after a while, the opposite sex is fed up and she, she's no longer beautiful. She is. I think um, if we apply makeup for the purpose why it was meant, it would be okay for the society. Well, uh, makeup is there, and women do do makeup put something on their faces but the most important thing is uh, their is, is her mind you understand her let me say her behaviors her attitude it was matters the most you understand because let's say for example as you said after you got married and you find that that one is already late but if you found that early if there is any correction or advice you can give but once it's late then you have to accept her like that okay. mm. see makeup um, I think it's a lady thing are you getting it um, <laughs> just like um, when you ask um, a man to stop a certain thing that you know that men do uh, it's, it's, it's difficult are you getting it but um, you know every too much of everything is bad do you get when if a lady have something like a location or going out, you make up. So you can't stop them from making up. But you know, too, it's sometimes you see them doing, some of them don't know how to make up, like some um, shops. They will just change their face entirely. But when you are looking at, you even tell the lady to please go and clean this. Do you understand? But makeup is good. Well, what I think will happen, uh, certainly we have read many things on social media, it is bound to happen. We have two things like that. As for me, I don't think uh, anything will happen because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And beauty has nothing to do with, as far as I'm concerned, has nothing to do with uh, cosmetics, applying this or applying that. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And it's not just the ordinary outlook, it has to do with the mind, it has to do with the kind of attitude that person is. As for me, that is my position. Although the greater purpose of makeup is to present one in the best way possible, and just like any other accessory, makeup has become an integral part of women's lives. There is, however, a thin line between a genuine attempt at looking good and a brazen act of changing your face into something it is not in order to outrightly deceive.